Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. I don't know if you can tell a difference, but I got a new camera and I'm so excited about it because if you've been following me and watching me on my channel for a while, then you know that I really like to do project vlogs and I like doing videos that are that vlog style and I think that it is time for me to just start vlogging because I have a baby. I don't have a ton of time to really like sit down and come up with these concepts or videos even though i have a ton of ideas it's really become hard for me to execute them so i think my next move is vlogging and so i needed to get a better camera um the other camera that i have is an olympus it is awesome i love it it's great for photography but i was having a really hard time filming myself and i don't think that film or um, video is the best thing on that camera. It's not a strong suit, I should say. So I'm going to keep that for photography. I love it. But I got a Canon G7X Mark II, which is the vlogging camera apparently on YouTube. Um, it was between that and the M50, and the M50 was just a lot larger, and it's a mirrorless camera like my Olympus. I just couldn't justify having two mirrorless cameras that basically did the same thing. Um, so now I have this camera which is more of a point and shoot and then i have my olympus for photography so i think as far as vlogging goes i'm just gonna keep it pretty simple for now and just kind of do weekly vlog that's my idea um i'm not gonna put too much pressure on myself <laughs> i'm just going to do day by day if i get up and i feel good and um, things are going well with the baby then maybe we'll vlog we'll show you what we're doing what we're up to and just kind of go from there. Good morning. I have big plans today. I am planning to go to Ikea. Um, I've already got my face on. I'm getting ready to do my hair. And after that, I'm going to pack my diaper bag. We're going to hit the road. Ikea here in Norfolk has been open for maybe like two weeks. So the best time to go is actually during the week. And today is a Thursday. So I think it'll be pretty um, slow in comparison to how it is on Saturdays and Sundays. They actually run a shuttle on the weekends, which is crazy. Cause you have to like take the shuttle in and then take the shuttle back, get your car and then come and load your stuff, which is crazy. I'm not doing that. So I'm planning to get a couple things. I just want to show you guys my problem areas. As you can see here, my electronics are out and open for the world to see in my living room. It drives me absolutely bananas. I want to get something to put that in hopefully look a lot better here. And then I actually did like a Pinterest thing here where I like mapped out where I wanted to put picture frames. So I'm doing that. I need, what is that, nine, 16 by 20 frames. And Ikea has really cheap frames and I want them all to be the same. So I'm gonna pack the diaper bag. I'm gonna do my hair cause it looks crazy. And we're gonna hit the road to Ikea. how long I did hair, I can never make both sides look the same. Like, ever. I actually prefer this side today, but usually I prefer this side. I don't know. Are you ready to go? This outfit's kind of crazy, but it's hot outside, but I know it's gonna be cold in the store, so I can have socks on him, just in case. Just in case. Oh my god, I'm actually shocked. The last time I came here, they had parking attendants and people who were helping like just coordinate the whole place and now the parking lot is practically empty. So it's not going to be an issue um, getting in and out of this place today, luckily. God, I love these shelves. I think this whole thing is $373 though for all those shelves. It's kind of pricey, but they're beautiful. God, this room inspires me. I love this chase or chase, however you say it. But these colors. Okay, this thing has me living. 
feel like I need to live in Malibu or like California with something like this in my house, but it's so pretty. It's like sea glass. Okay, I'm thinking this bench is gonna be perfect for my bathroom and I'm getting ready to do like a DIY like budget redo in there and there's this is two of them but just one of them and it's gonna fit because I measured Yay! nine picture frames took up most of my cart okay I somehow got all of that in the car I don't know if you can see it there sticking out I feel like that's something that I definitely need to work on is like pre-planning things like I made a list but I didn't think about if it was gonna fit in my car um, it's also another reason why I kind of need a SUV. All right, so let me go home and I'm going to try to um, get him down for his nap on time. It's We're getting close. So I have to feed him, get him down for his nap. Hopefully he sleeps for a few hours and I have time to put the um, entertainment center thing together and then order pictures that are going to go in those frames for the wall um, and be able to pick them up and actually put them in the frames and hang them tonight because I'm just so impatient like I need to do it when I set my mind on something I just need to like do it that day this is like my current workspace kitchen table laptop measuring tape phone baby born baby and working out of a diaper bag okay so while I'm waiting for Miles to get kind of sleepy and put him down for his nap I am going to see if I can find some prints. I didn't realize that the frames that I bought, I, I just assumed that they would hold an eight by 10, but it's actually a 12 by 16, which is of course is like an odd size, an image size. Normally it's like 11 by 14, I think. It's like eight by 10, 11 by 14, 16 by 20 is how they go. But of course this is just like in the middle. So I'm looking online to find a place that does 12 by 16 prints. It looks like the only place around here um, is Costco, which I'm not a Costco member. Although I think that we might be soon because we eat so much food. But anyway, we're not Costco members now, so I can't order from there. Um, I just need to look online and see, oh really? Online and see where I can order from. It would be nice if I could just order from CVS or Walgreens and just pick them up, but they don't do same day pickup for um, they don't even do 12 by 16, so I could do like 16 by 20 and cut it down. I don't know, I don't know. I honestly don't know how I would make it through the day without coffee. I know people do it all the time, they like stop drinking coffee and they're like, I feel so much better. I think every time I've done that, that I've actually felt worse. No one sells 12 by 16s except for Costco and Sam's Club. This is a conspiracy because you have to have a membership to go to these places and get photos. But Walmart sells them. No, they don't. They sell 12 by 18s, let me get real, but if I get a 12 by 18, I can just like, I don't know, cut the ends off or just put a 12 by, I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna try Walmart. They're only $9 a piece at Walmart. So I still think that's a lot for prints, but what are you gonna do? I'm gonna look for a coupon. <laughs> so these are the frames that I got from Ikea. They're the Hofsta 16 by 20 with a 12 by 16 opening. Nine of those going right there. Let me show you guys what I did because it's one of those Pinterest things that like you see all the time. You're like, that's a really good idea, but you never actually do. I cut out 16 by 20 because that was the size frame that I wanted. Sheets of paper and taped them up there, to make, up there to make sure that I liked it. And I think it looks really good. I was trying to kind of distract from these light switches and I got a couple really good suggestions from you guys. Um, messages on Instagram. A couple people said that I should do like a giant macrame piece there and I thought that was really a good idea and really sweet. I just have so much macrame in this house already that I didn't want a big piece there. Like just in this area of the house I have this which I love over the fireplace and then I have some plant hangers as well as my macrame hanging lights over here. So I just felt like it was too much macrame and I really wanted to put more photography in this house, more photos. We have amazing photographers and I love putting their work on display. So pictures of us all around our house, why not? I mean, you get those pictures taken for a reason and I always make a book afterwards after we have a photo session, but it's nice just to see them every day and to remind you of your love and what you have in your home. So back to the whole Pinterest thing, I definitely could have used that Pinterest idea up here 
but I did it kind of freehand. I actually laid all of this out on the floor and I measured the wall space that I wanted to cover with this and then I actually put it on the floor so I knew my boundaries and I arranged everything on the floor and then I just put it on the wall one by one. So it was easy, but with something as specific as this where I wanted to make sure that it looked good and these frames are gonna be so close together that I just did the paper and I thought it was really genius. I need to continue these, this gallery sort of wall over here into this corner. I just don't have enough stuff. I have a couple things like sitting here that I wanna hang, but I need, I need a lot more. So if you guys have any like favorite art prints that you like or websites that you use, send them to me, put them in the comments because you can see what I like. So if you, if you know of a company or somebody on Etsy who you think that I would like, I'm looking for stuff to put on this wall. So let me know. And then here is our Besta. This is the console that I'm going to put right here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna like have it off to the right or if I'm gonna center it, but obviously the cradle won't be there. And what it's going to house is all of this, all of that mess. Putting together Ikea furniture is like actually, I can't call it a hobby, but I actually really enjoy it. I like doing it. So I'm gonna put some music on. I've got a third coffee coming and put this together. Look at the legs, so cute. There was a kind, a real kind Southern gentleman at Ikea. His accent caught me off guard for sure because we live in Virginia, but it is not that Southern here. And luckily he was in the same aisle as me because there's no one else around. And this part is huge. And I totally was not going to be able to get it on my cart while carrying miles. And he was kind enough to assist me um, when I could have asked an, empl an employee, but that would have taken like, you know, walking and finding someone because you know how it is. Oh my God, how do you open this thing? Oh, okay. Well, hopefully I'm not planning to return this thing because I just ripped it wide open. Okay, where are my instructions? This thing better have come with some. Okay, I am so confused. I've never bought anything from Ikea that didn't come with instructions. Are they like online? Okay, found it. I realized after I couldn't find the instructions that I also couldn't find the hardware and then I literally like called Ikea and was freaking out. I was getting ready to drive there and check the bottom of your box because that's where all this was and it was so quiet. I mean I like shook the box, I looked in there, and then I opened up the bottom and there it was. Thank goodness. Saved me a trip. issue there's another because these are not the right size doors that this lady gave me so I have to take the doors back but at least I have the hardware I hope I have everything everything I need these systems from Ikea like there's just a lot of moving parts it seems like okay well at least the legs worked so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to use it without the doors until I'm able to take the doors back so it's been an afternoon. Miles has not wanted to take a nap, so I've been like up and down the stairs. Now he's in the Bjorn, he's good. I didn't realize that I was gonna have to, well, I don't know why I didn't think of this. I need to drill holes in the back of that thing so that the wires will go through. I'm just gonna wait for my husband to get home because I'm texting him and he's like, oh, do you want me to, do you wanna wait for me to get home? We could do it together and I know that means that he wants to help me. Um, hopefully we'll get this done tonight. That means that we're not gonna work out, but I wanna get it done before this weekend. Today's Thursday and we have friends coming into town so I can't have our TV completely disconnected and I already started taking everything apart and it's really complicated. So tomorrow morning I'm gonna go back to Ikea and exchange the doors, get the right size doors, hopefully have this done tonight and everything, everything that I choose to do or every time I decide to do like a project or just really anything, I always think it's going to be so easy and then I start doing it and I'm like, what did I get myself into? So I've been working on getting my balcony, um, like spring ready and ready to like entertain and just eat cheese and crackers and drink wine out there at night with my husband. So the last thing I need to do is just move a couple of plants out there and hang the hammock, which if you haven't seen my hammock tutorial, you should check it out. I made this hammock. I'll link it below. It's definitely a daunting and long um, project, but it was totally worth it.
Whoa. Uh, whoa. That was a wasp. Holy crap. No, thank you. So that couch out there, I made myself, well, with the help of my husband, super inexpensive and extra, extra long, way bigger than a lot of the outdoor furniture that I have seen online and in person and just way, way less expensive. I definitely believe that you can decorate your outdoor areas and do things on a budget that look really good and when I've looked online at outdoor furniture it is crazy how expensive it is and how cheap it is like as far as the construction of it and I made that couch with two by fours and some cushions from Ikea so totally doable all of my planters pots that I buy I buy at home goods or TJ Maxx and I drill a hole in the bottom of them because they normally don't have a hole in the bottom of them if you buy pots from like Home Depot or like a garden center they are so expensive I usually find mine for like anywhere between like 10 and 20 dollars so that's another tip for you it is almost bedtime we are gonna do a bath we're gonna do a massage. I've been taking an infant massage class, so we're gonna get a little massage action. Oh, well, not me, but him. I will hopefully see you guys tomorrow when that TV stand from Ikea is put together. We'll see, hopefully, wish me luck. Good morning. Uh, my husband and I tackled the issue with the electronics last night, and I feel really dumb. I'm about to tell you why. So the stand had like this backing to it that I was gonna drill holes in for the wires, which is so dumb. My husband had the bright idea to just take them out. There they are. So now we just stuck them in the back, which makes so much more sense. I mean, it was just so much easier than having to do all of the unplugging. Um, so now I just need to get the doors put on. I have to say, I know Ikea Norfolk is brand new and they just opened, but the lady that helped me yesterday, I'm really disappointed in her customer service. She was really nice, but she kind of screwed me up. And I have a two and a half month old, like I, really can't, I don't have time to be going back and forth to Ikea and like hauling things and anyway, the the doors were clearly not the right size. When I looked back at the receipt, they even say that they're 25 inches tall on the receipt and they should have been only 15 inches. Anyway, we're gonna handle that next week. Um, I finally ordered pictures for my picture frames, but they're gonna take a few days to come in. I ended up ordering them from Walgreens. I just got spit up on. <laughs> and I really needed a 12 by 16, but I had to order 12 by 18 posters. So I'm hoping the quality is good and that they fit okay. I just kind of, when I uploaded the photos, plan to have two inches taken off of the sides. I'm gonna end the vlog here. We have friends coming into town today. I have to run to the grocery store. I need to do Trader Joe's and Whole Foods, which I wish there was one grocery store where I could buy everything that we need and want, but there's not. So I have to like muck around town to like several different grocery stores usually. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you're still here, let me know what you think of the vlog, if it's something that I should continue doing. Um, if you're not already subscribed, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>